This is the general education pattern or the GE course requirements for an associate in arts degree here at Las Positas College. For this example in this video tutorial, I'm using the handout from the academic year 2010 to 2011. Please make sure for your own reference when you are using the AAGE flyer that you are referring to the most current this academic year's handout. So when you read this uh, handout, you want to see that the N stands for need, IP for in progress, and C for completed in these three columns to keep track of your work in progress. So for the first section in English composition, you want to complete one course, uh, basically English 1A, with a grade of C or higher or pass. The next section in writing and critical thinking, you will take one course, so your choice between English 4 or English 7. In the third category for communication and analytical thinking, you're choosing one course that's at least three units from any one of these three columns. One, two, three. Just one course. The next section for mathematic proficiency, there's no units attached here because there's different ways to complete this section. You could demonstrate eligibility by um, testing into a one level above intermediate al algebra using the LPC placement exam, if you've taken an equivalent course somewhere else, or by completing one of the following courses. Now for natural science, you will also just take one course from any one of these three columns. That's at least three units. So you can take a course with a lab, but only a lecture course of three units is required at a minimum. The next section for humanities, again, it's the same thing. You are just choosing one course out of these three columns. That's at least three units. Same thing goes for social and behavioral sciences. You are just taking one course from any one of these three columns. So you noticed this Anthropology 13 has two asterisks. What this is trying to tell you is that even though Anthropology 13 is listed both here for social sciences and here for natural sciences, you can only use that course to meet one section. So if you're going to use Anthropology 13 for, to meet your natural sciences, you must choose another course to fulfill your social science requirement because each section has its own specific three units listed here. The next section for wellness what you'll be doing is completing three units from this area of health, meaning like Health 1, Health 3, or Psych 10, plus one unit of PE, so like a PE activity class. It could be you know anything in that uh, category, for a total of four units. Then for American institutions, you're just going to take one course from either History or from Political Science 7. Then Last but not least is the American Cultures Requirement, which you will complete with a grade of C or higher or a pass. Notice again here there's no units attached. So what that means is, for example, if you complete Anthro 5, that one course will satisfy your American Cultures Requirement and your Social Science Requirement. Or let's say you decided to take uh, Music 5. That one course will satisfy your American Cultures and your humanities requirement because it's listed in both sections. So that's the one area where you can use one course to satisfy two different sections. Remember that you must complete a minimum of 60 units with a grade of 2.0 or better. 12 units must be completed at Las Positas College for an associate's degree. So all of these general ed GE courses add up to about, mm, about 30 units. So the remaining uh, number of units will come from your major requirements and electives.